So good morning. Today's a big day for the llamas, a really big day. They are getting moved, but not from here. Just from one pasture to another, it's time to separate the males because the males are actually trying to climb the fence to get to the females. They are definitely old enough to breed um, and they want to. So now we have to separate our males from our females differently than what we've got going on, which right now is just they're separated by one fence line, but it's just not doing it. There was some attempts to jump over last night that we witnessed from our males to the females. So they're big boys now. Time to graduate. They follow the oats. That's how we train them to walk on halter with food. Because food motivation goes a long way with llamas. They're leaving their pasture. Say bye bye. I get to move. It's moving day. It's moving day. So that's little Nickel the alpaca. And this is I'm a rock star. Our llama. Right, buddies? Hello, friends. <laughs> Well, lift it. Look at this big new space. It's so big. Shut this gate. Why? They can't go back and forth? Oh, because there's a ladder. Okay, so since we moved the two that were not breeding right now to the other pastures, now I've got my two herd tires who are also ready to be separated, but guess where they get to go? They get to go with the females. So, your time has finally come, Raising Cane and Macho Blue. No more fence boundary. So I'll be putting together my Surrey's. So he's a Surrey with a pretty curly um, fiber. And my Woolies, he's a Wooly. Right, Macho Blue, who's so handsome. So that we stay true to their fibers. So I've got Surrey females and woolly females, and we'll be hopefully breeding some beautiful baby llamas, which are called Crias. And it's an 11 and a half month gestation, so it'll be this time next year before we see if we were successful. Whew. So you're gonna let him through, and then what? He's gonna get them. And then you're gonna, okay, so Raisin Kane is gonna be the one to herd these girls in there with him. Let's see how it happens. I'm gonna just move. Because I think this is going to yeah. be a little bit. Um, yeah. I'm going to get behind the gate <laughs> because they get a little crazy. Okay, here we go. I'm safely behind the gate. Ready? And here we go. Off to the races. Da -da 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 Woo! Handsome. Here comes the llama. Hey, that's George. That's Tessa. So this is Raising Cane looking for food. You're supposed to look for the females. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. This is not what I expected. Okay, Boots is going in. Raise in, get your girls. What are y'all doing? There's a boy in your place. No, we can just let it. They'll go in. There she goes. There goes Tessa. They're so curious. They can't stand not checking out something new. So curious. And there goes Georgia Peach. Come on, Raisin. Okay. Come on, buddy. Go see. What's going on? You got girls in your pasture. What you gonna do about that? <laughs> Gonna have some pretty Kriyas with these Surrey Llamas. <laughs> George is like, uh-uh, let me eat. <laughs> okay, well, maybe let them have breakfast first, Raisin. Okay. Oh. 
this is day two now that Rockstar and Nickel, the alpaca, have been removed from the main herd and they are together up here in their new pen, kind of pen pasture area. They're doing great. Um, there's a little bit of humming and they're just kind of still exploring. Um, but I'm just so glad that we have two of them together. It's why it's just so important to keep two llamas. If I had just moved one while we're doing the breeding of the others, then I would have a very stressed out llama and especially in the heat that could just die of stress. Um, they, they are pack herd animals. They share guard duty. They share watch duty. So a llama by itself will actually just stay up if he doesn't have a buddy to take watch and he will die of loneliness and stress. So it's so important to have two llamas together. Even three is better because if something happens to one, then you still have two. So if you have one that has to go to the vet or has to be removed off site for whatever reason, you still have two llamas to share watch duty. So anyway, they're doing great and hopefully they're gonna like their new location. It's very shaded under the trees and, um, and just quiet. So I'm excited that they get to have this new area. And then after the breeding of the rest of the herd, um, we'll be moving everybody around again. But so far, these two are doing great. Macho's like, oh, this is how you do it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's right. He's, he's taking notes. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my goodness. This is going to take a while. He, <laughs> she's not going to let, she's not going to. She's still spitting off, spitting them off. He's like, no. Mm -mm. Oh, going after boots. <laughs> He's gonna get worn out. Give me this one. <laughs> well, that's the wrong side, buddy. Oh, that's okay. They're playing. Okay, I just introduced the little male goats to the female goats because the male goats are technically old enough, although they're still pretty small. I don't know. Look at that. We'll see. They're being gentle with each other, but curious at the same time. I don't know. What do y'all think? You got some new friends.